Um, we have another question that popped in here from Instagram from French French's Outdoor. Uh, said, I heard through the grapevine that you've been able to bend voyage. Is that true? If so, details, please. Yes, I have. Um, it's very, very challenging. It wants to bend by itself and you never know which direction it wants to bend to. <laughs> so when we use the heat con blankets to bend and um, we pay attention, we keep opening the, the blankets to look at the board as we're heating it because it's going to start to curl a certain direction. And depending on where, uh, we'll, so we'll have our heat blankets set so we can take our boards directly from the blankets onto the form. And sometimes we have to switch the direction of the board and have to actually take it out of the blankets turn it 180 degrees and put it back in to finish heating it so that we're not fighting the direction of which way it wants to curl. But we've had boards up to 325 degrees before, before they even started to bend. Wowzers. Cool. I, first time we got to 325, I was looking at uh, um, how, how hot I, I'm allowed to get the heat con blankets before failure. And I even ran and grabbed the fire extinguisher because I didn't know what flashpoint was you know and is my insulation going to start on fire uh yeah. but you know we've we've had success between uh 305 and 325 degrees with that and the uh, tightest that we've bent successfully was a five foot nine inch radius oh wow yeah that, super tight that super is tight. tight for that yeah no kidding yeah well i i, I bent uh i've got an azec six inch board at 14 and a half inch radius right now wow yeah. so does it does the decorators voyage stuff fail in the same way that others do? Like, does it, does it bubble? Does it kink? Like, or is it crimples on the side? And what does it do? No, when it doesn't no it's actually, it's very solid. Um, it's a very strong board. And um, I gotta be honest, if I wasn't using the TimberTech Azac board, that's the board that I would be using. Um, no, it, it does not. It has a very strong surface integrity, so you can heat it up to those really challenging temperatures, very hot, and there's no defects in it whatsoever. So, how when when does it not work? Then you pull it out, and it's not it's not hot enough, it's so it doesn't malleable. go, or like what? Yeah, oh yeah, that it has to be extremely hot to be able to bend. Well, at least you know when we're doing a five foot nine inch radius, there's no way I'm going to get it that tight um without it being at 320 degrees yeah, yeah. Uh, just not happening but we've been able to get some really slight bends on it right around like 275 280 you know but no surface loss um or integrity loss um i can tell you though all the other composites because i own another company called colorado board benders and i bend boards for all the deck builders around here in this area uh, there's a lot of guys selling curved decks, but they don't have the equipment and they don't have the knowledge to do it. We probably bend 100 to 120 boards a year for other contractors. So I, I'm very well versed in all the other manufacturers and the problems with each of those. So would you go so far as to say that the decorators actually is easier? Like you got to get it hotter, tougher to work with, but there's not as much chance of fate, like of ruining a board no no um it's very difficult to bend um see like with a composite you're going to heat it up for several hours and it's going to take several hours to cool down but when you're in the middle of your bend you might have two or three minutes to shape that board um you literally have 20 seconds with that voyage line to get it bent before it cools down to a point where it's not moving gotcha gotcha so oh boy and, and then you know when it when i say that you heat it up and it starts to curl by itself it doesn't always curl in an arch. Sometimes it curls in an S and then you're kind of screwed because it, you know, you're fighting it. And by the time you're on the S and you're trying to pull it back straight to go the other direction to bend that it doesn't work. It, oh, it, it kinks. That's super strange. That's not, that's not what I would expect it to do. Given the, the kind of like linear fiberness to it, you wouldn't right. think it would have a directional that it would pull, but it must just be, I guess, you know, some slight density in that, Know the, in the and I think that's what it is. I think it's the density and the, the way that they extrude, they do that pull extraction yeah. Um, yeah. instead of the push extrusion. And um, in the way that it stretches the fibers um, internally in the board, I think that that has a lot to do with which direction it wants to curl. Right, right. Yeah. But you can't, you can't tell from the surface looking at it. You just have to heat it up and see what happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Fun every time. Yeah. A little surprise every time, right? Yeah. That's hardly expensive. <laughs> well, I've gone through thousands and thousands of dollars of boards in trial and error. Yeah. 
Well, that's pretty cool stuff. I have not, uh, like I've heard some guys having a little bit of a su success with it, like slight little bends here and there, but to do a five foot nine radius is, uh, that's eye opening. I didn't think that, yeah. that would be possible with that stuff. Super challenging. I, we went through six boards to get one. Yeah. And that was for your own job or you were doing that for yeah. another contractor? That was for another contractor, but, um, you know, I have to bill accordingly too. It's pretty expensive to get boards bent. Yeah. Um, you know, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort to get, you know, a perfect radius and a perfect bend. You'll see some videos on YouTube or Instagram of guys pulling blankets or pulling boards out of blankets and throwing it on a form. It's there's way more involved than that. In trying to bend yeah. board. So what did you tell that? He shows up and says, I need decorators voyage to a five foot nine radius and like nobody's done it before. What did you say? Like, Actually, I, sold, I sold the project as Vista and I told him, you know, cause he wasn't specific about it. And, um, and I said, yeah, we're, we're only been in the Vista line. We've never actually done the voyage line. And, um, uh, this is the guy that wanted five foot nine inch radius. And when I showed up to pick up the boards, because they have to supply me with the material, I just bend it for the service. Um, you know, I saw that it was the voyage line and I said, you know, challenge accepted. Um, you know, and, and so that the, the first voyage board I bent was a five foot nine inch radius. But uh, yeah, it took six boards, but he had to just keep supplying boards to me, you know, uh, at his cost. You know, yeah. he's the one that sold the project and he's the one that promised his client that yeah. he could get it done. He already had the whole deck built. <laughs> yeah, just that's waiting like, for you yeah. to finish that one board. It's, well, you know, that's what happens to me is everybody that wants boards bent. They've already promised their client. They've already framed it. They've already put the flooring down. And then now they're trying to figure out how to get the boards bent for the border. Boy, that's going to burn somebody pretty hard someday. Yeah. I know a couple of guys that have lost their projects on what I have to charge. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. No doubt about it. Yeah.